Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. In this video, we're going to go through the Sequoia add-on. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Now, this is another grass add-on, but not just grass. There's trees, there's rocks, grass, plenty of trees, so on and so forth. Let's kind of go through a deep dive and kind of look into this add-on. Now, I do have an affiliate link for this. So if you want to support the channel, you want to pick this up, there is a link in the description. I am using the pro version in this. So once you've downloaded it, let me just quickly go through this. Um, there is a zip file in there. It's called Sequoia. Unzip it. You actually do need to actually extract all this. Unzip this one as well. Unzip it all out. Um, and in here, you will have two files. Obviously, one's the add-on, one's the blend file. Uh, don't touch the blend file because that has all the assets. But once we're in Blender, here we are. Let me just press delete the default cube as we always do. Control shift A, let's add it in a plane. I'm just gonna increase the size. I've already got the Sequoia add-on uh, open here on the right hand side. Straight off the bat, you can see it's fairly straightforward. Let's select our element. I'm gonna add some grass. Mm, let's go maybe some clovers because we all know what clovers are. I'm gonna click add element. And there we go. So you can see that we've kind of created this clover area. Now, if I want to increase the number, we can just increase it over here on the left. Um, I know that there are updates coming through to kind of clean up the UI a little bit. Um, and we'll go through the updates that are coming out as well. So over here, random, this random, I believe is the rotation. So you can either rotate it on the X or the Y axis. I give it a little bit of a rotation just so that everything's not like parallel to the ground. Randomness is, I believe the scale. This one is scale and random of, of this one is the rotation. So over here is obviously scale, you know, we can make them bigger, smaller, blah, blah, blah. It's fairly straightforward and obviously rotation as well. Random, we can kind of put him in a random position, so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool, quite nice. Um, we've got more options in here. So we can do some more um, kind of like fine tuning if we want. The cool thing down here is the draw feature. So if I click draw on, so now we're in the draw function, we can increase the size of the radius. And at the moment I've got a count of 10. So when I click the button, it's gonna add an extra 10 um, in these, uh, in this instance, clovers to that area. So let's turn it back on and we've got extra clovers in there. Let me just kind of go to town. And there we go. Now we've got like this really cool field of clovers, but let's actually just have a really quick look how it looks. So this is what it looks like in Eevee. I haven't done anything. I haven't touched anything. It is just off this point light and you can see that it looks quite nice. Let's go ahead and create a second layer. So from here, I'm going to go into the next layer. Let's change our element to grass, mm, Baja grass. I don't even know what that is. Let's click. Let's make sure we've selected our surface. And then we'll click element or oh, add element. Sorry. Once again, let's bump this up to maybe 2000. And you can see we've got our grass in there amongst the clovers from here straight away. Like I did before, I'm just going to rotate them ever so slightly in a random way, scale, just a little bit of randomness and then full randomness on the rotation. So along kind of like the Z axis, um, let's go jitter. We'll put in random again, and that's looking pretty suave. Uh, from here, I'm going to click next layer. Let's go ahead and create some rocks. I'm going to go with maybe forest rocks one on this one, select our layer, add elements. And so we've got a few rocks once again, randomize the transformations a bit. That's kind of cool. Let's go into the next layer and I'm just going to go ahead and probably create uh, rocks forest three, select our plane, add element. And where are my rocks? There we go. So we've got these random rotation, random scales. And for instance, I kind of feel like I kind of maybe want another rock in here. So let's just go draw. And I'm going to put one, let's go add, put one there. And we'll turn that off. And you can see we've now added a few extra rocks. Now I kind of stuffed up there. I should have changed the count but I didn't, I added actually 10 rocks. So let's maybe go one, um, let's go in here, put some more rocks in there. I'm adding three, like a Muppet. 
there we go. I can even zoom out. Let's kind of increase the radius. And then so I can say this area here, I kind of want a prevalent of rocks. There we go. So that's kind of cool. Um, what else can we do? So that's looking quite nice. Let's just have a really quick look at the tree elements. I don't want a cactus or in some sort of bamboo. Ooh, dead tree. Oh, let's throw a dead tree in there. Um, so let's go next layer, add element. That's not too, that's not shabby. That's not too shabby. Rotation, random scale, random rotation ever so slightly. Now, one thing you might notice is that there are items appearing on other items. So in the next iteration of this add-on, there will be the seed function of changing the seeds. Um, and that will obviously stop things from overlapping, but I can always just increase the number and then that'll kind of randomize it a bit more. Um, I actually might add in another set of dead trees. So let's go next layer. Um, dead tree three, select the layer. Yep, add element. Is that the same element? Nope, different element, that's good. Random rotation, random scale, random like that. Let's go 12. Yeah, we're getting a pretty good scene here. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that light. Let's just go into shading. Let's go into the world. From here, I'm gonna go sh shift A, search, environment texture. And I'm gonna plop that one in there. This here is the node preview add-on. That's why I've got boxes up there. Um, if you wanna pick that up, there's a link in the description for that as well. I'm gonna go into the forest. And now what we're gonna have is a HDRI of a forest. Beautiful. Let's go as well. I kind of want to add, I don't want to have a plain background for the plane. So let, crazy Marco from here. I'm just going to quickly jump into the scatter add on. Cause I don't really want to find a ground texture. Let's just select this object as a plane quickly add in my texture. Oops. Um, from here, it's this one and I want this ground. Beautiful, nice. From here, let's go back into Sequoia. Um, da -da -da -da. I'm liking how that looks. Let's now just position a camera really quick. There we go. Alt R, Alt G, Alt S, G to the Z, rotate X 90 degrees. I kind of want that patch that we were working on. Let's go GZ. Let's kind of rotate it around. What are we looking at? Something like that. I am going to jump over into cycles. Go to GPU, buddy. Performance 512 by 512. Um, da -da -da -da. I'm just having a quick look. I'm just going to press F12 and we'll see what happens. Obviously, I haven't done too much with the ground. I think we could probably do a little bit more work on the ground. We'll let that come in. Um, I'm currently rendering off a GDX 1080 as well as kind of like screen capturing and recording. So there is a bit there. We could technically come in here and start drawing in more grass to kind of um, fluff up that area. But you can already see that it is looking quite nice. I think with a, probably with a little bit more of a harsher sun, but obviously we're using a HDRI. Um, more shadows, I think would look, make this look really, really schmick. But anyway, I'm gonna let that render out. That'll be the thumbnail for the video. If this has been helpful in any way, and if you wanna pick this up, there is a link in the description. It really helps me out, keeps updating my content. No, nope. subscribing <laughs> really helps you out, helps me out and helps you out and keeps you up to date with my content. So thank you very much. Um, and I'll put this on in a sec. So here's two images that I rendered. Obviously I didn't save the first one after I moved the camera cause I'm an idiot. So this is this one. And then if we move over to the right, eh, 